So let's dig into closets. I don't know why I love them, but I do. There's nothing to me more interesting and exciting than high level organization. So this is my house up in the Georgia mountains. It came equipped with your, well, you know, we would normally call high end closet organization solution. Uh, we'll show you some of the hanging areas, but this is a classic example of really low quality, but very expensive stuff. My guess is this is probably one of the major brands, a like closet made or something like that. It's three quarters of an inch thick. It has that really sharp laminate type edge. Uh, they all have like a million peg holes so that you can adjust it. Uh, the drawers are cheap. The hardware is cheap. It just, it, it really has disgusted me for years, uh, the process of trying to get a closet. Uh, and as I was sort of up and coming in the world, I've had many, many different uh, interactions with companies that do closet organization systems. And the process is just a nightmare. I just want to be able to go on a website, give me a basic idea of what things cost. Let me tell you what I'm looking for. We create a, you know, a generic design or a, a basic design, uh, and then give me a final layout and be very transparent with me. So uh, this kind of came to be because I have this destination property uh, and uh, it gives me an avenue to offer solutions using the same format I've used with detailing products and car lifts and lighting and, and garage pressure washers and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so um, Destination Obsessed Garage is the brand that I came up with to buy this house here and let people come and stay in it. Uh, borrow it for money, we call it. So closets are something that I needed for this place. I needed for my house in Florida and I happened to be at the International Builder Show. I walked up to Adornis, which is a ca custom cabinet manufacturer and they had this amazing closet system with like, it was eight feet tall and, and amazing laminate. It still wasn't wood like custom cabinets, uh, but it was, um, it was an inch and an eighth thick. It was a big, thick, chunky stuff. And sure enough, I walk in and a guy says, hey, aren't you Matt from Obsessed Garage? I said, yeah. So I met the son of the owner of Adornis, Teddy. Uh, we hit it off and I said, man, uh, I would like to put these closets in my house and I bet you we could figure out a way to offer this to people. And so here we are. So I wanted to show you what we came up with, show you some examples of closets, talk to you about pricing and what they cost here in 2023. I'm hoping to cut out a lot of the, the middleman costs and a lot of the goofiness. Uh, and then you can leverage our design team, which I don't charge anything for, to help you design your closets. Uh, but first, let me show you some of the things that I dislike about this stuff, the typical closet. Uh, and then we'll go and uh, look at some, some awesome stuff. All right, so this is pretty typical of a high-end solution. You know, like I talked about, this is all three-quarter inch thick. Uh, and it's all that very laminate heavy, it's a press board core uh, and then has a laminate design. Uh, these have your typical drawer glides. They're not, um, I don't think these are soft clothes. Um, these are a laminate, plasticky, not very nice, you know, internal drawer structure, kind of wobbly, wonky. They have pretty cheap, pretty cheap, you know, handles that would typically come with this stuff. Like, like this one has, uh, I'm sure this is a very expensive option with some smoked glass. Uh, and then you have this kind of, kind of crown molding, I'm sure was another very expensive add on. Uh, but in general, this is what you get with a closet made type custom closet system. Thinner material, very cheap. This stuff tends to peel up over time. It's kind of a lick and stick type vinyl, um, you know, what are, I don't know what they call this, but it's a, it's a vinyl laminate. Just not, you know, not something, you know, you would typically see or want in a custom cabinet. Uh, and so I want to get us to the point to where we're at the level of custom cabinets, but without having to spend, you know, this would cost $80,000 to outfit this, this closet. My guess is when they put this, put this together 10 years ago or so, this closet was at least probably $25,000, $30,000 to do, which is an insane amount of money. So some of the other things that these have that I don't like, um, these are the wall mounted types. So these are generally hung from a cleat. There's no back. 
so you have the exposed wall. Um, so they mount the cleat and then these just kind of these kind of hang and then they'll typically have a bracket on the bottom here that, that fixes the, the hang so you have a double hang areas. I guess one advantage is they didn't have to cut the baseboards, they didn't have to do any modification there. But to me this feels like a bolted on organization, not you know, not a structured custom system. Uh, and so they even hang these, uh, you know, the, the, the what would be your normal shoe racks. And then they, you know, they're doing some of these. Hayful is sort of the industry standard on all this stuff. Um, but these are some sort of cheaper version of, of what, uh, what I would hope to see. And then there's peg holes everywhere. So just to make it super modular, make it really, uh, really simple, they'll typically set it up this way where these, you know, all this stuff uh, can be adjusted, which is nice, but then cheap. And you can see kind of the material here. Uh, they don't, they don't, they never laminate shelves on all, all four sides. They generally try to cheap out as much as possible. And over time, this stuff tends to flake and peel. You know, if you don't really, if you don't just take really, really good care of it and make sure you're being cognizant of that, it can be problematic. So let's go look at some of the systems that we're doing now uh, and why I like it. So this is a pretty typical closet. Many of you in the, at least this is the way I grew up, closet looked like in the Northeast. Uh, older homes um, will have a typical uh, open up, I don't know, what do you call this type of closet? Longer, narrower closet. Uh, so in here we opted to do the uh, seven foot version because the, just the depth of this. And then we did a stepped uh, set up. This is another advantage of the, the uh, we're calling these Aspire closets by, by Destination OG. Uh, so Adornis, the manufacturer of this, is sort of private labeling this for us. Um, we've you know, created our own private label version, so we're choosing hand selecting colors, uh, more colors to come. Uh, we're hand selecting our options, our sizes, and then we're figuring out the way to logistically to deliver it to you. And that was one of the things I wasn't sure that we could pull off. I was actually reconsidering doing this uh, at my house, it was really simple in Florida, flat driveway, lots of ingress, egress, really easy to get the product in. Um, I was there and so I could manhandle it off of the, uh, off of the truck uh, because you know, the, generally the, 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 the shippers don't want to mess with the stuff. It comes in giant crates, you know, especially if you do the eight foot version. So they're nine foot long crates uh, and they typically don't come off of a loading off of a, um, a lift gate very easily. So shipping is a little dicey. I think we've got this figured out. Um, just to put it into perspective, like this closet here, uh, probably costs about 450, 500 bucks to get to us. And the only way it was 450 to 500 was because we did more than one closet. So, you know, you're typically going to be best served doing, you know, multiple closets to shave and save in shipping cost. But for this whole house was, you know, several thousand dollars in shipping. So we need to keep that, take that into consideration. When you're buying this, I think net net, uh, the cost of doing this, uh, especially with the quality difference, this is better than any closet system I've ever seen. Um, as far as the quality is concerned, uh, the, I wasn't sure that, that I could pull this off. I wasn't sure if it was going to be economical, but um, compared to the quotes I've gotten in the past, this is like half the cost, maybe two thirds the cost after it's all delivered and, and, and you set it up. Uh, and um, it's like, you know, like double the quality. It's just so much better. I actually had to, we had uh, mismeasured a couple of the closets, so we had to cut. And you, the, the laminate thickness is a solid, you know, 16th, maybe even an eighth inch thick. So the laminate structure, this feels much more dense, much more solid. This is the inch and an eighth version. Uh, we also have an inch version. Uh, and then we're gonna be coming out with a three quarter inch thick version to save on shipping and cost. If you wanted the look and feel in a closet that wasn't as important to you uh, and wanted to save some costs, we'll have that as an option as well. Uh, but notice also we have a finished back. So finished back, we pulled the baseboards. So we have this full custom look. And then if you go to destinationog.com, we have these modules with pricing, just to give you an idea. So you're not in the dark. I hate that in the dark. What does this cost? Uh, where, you know, where are we at? Or where, where are you gonna be at? Just to give you a baseline. You're still gonna need us to design it for you. So hit up design at obsessedgarage.com. Uh, Nathan and Kyle, the team, can design you this setup depending on your, you know, the structure of your room or your closet. Uh, but in general, you know, the, the, the difficult parts of this 
amazing product was getting it to you, shipping, which I think we figured out, and then you know the design part of it, and then the transparency. So I want to be really transparent with you. So to put it into perspective, I know your closet will be a different size and you may choose some different options, but this entire setup uh, delivered here, uh, so the retail price of this, we would sell this closet for 3,400 bucks. Uh, so this is, uh, I'm gonna say, I forget, I should have written the dimensions down, but this is a roughly seven foot wide by seven foot tall closet uh, where we did the hamper module, we did a five drawer or four drawer system, we did the double hangs on the top and then, you know, uh, and then shelving above. Uh, you'd probably wanna do something a little different for the functionality of shoes if you had a, a closet like this because people aren't staying here permanently. This is our vacation house. Uh, we don't, you wouldn't have as many shoes as you would in a normal home. Uh, but this setup here was 3400 bucks, and then, you know, you probably, again, you probably have somewhere around $400 shipping, to four to $500 shipping to get this to you. Now, you wouldn't buy just this closet um, in order to make it econom economical. You'd want to do, because if you were to ship this alone, it's probably something more like, you know, 1200 bucks or so to ship it if you're doing just this. So we, you need the volume in order to, to make it practical for you. So you'd want to wait and save up and do, do all your closets at, at, at once. But notice, notice the difference in, in quality. First of all, inch and an eighth thick. Uh, so this, this is a much thicker material. The veneer on this, all the drawers, all of the doors, all of the shelves, are, they are veneered or laminated on all four sides. The lamination has a wood grain to it. Uh, it's super, super stout. And this is a this is one of the adjustable shelves, but we custom design this so they don't put a million holes. We decide where the shelves are going to be in the design. Uh, that is a little bit of a disadvantage in that you know you can't adjust on the fly when you're here in, in person. You could drill new holes if you wanted to, uh, but this makes it a much, much cleaner install, much cleaner design, much cleaner setup, much cleaner look uh, in your in your closet. Uh, we also have the option, you'll notice the finished look. We talked about this upstairs, the, um, the back pieces. So I think this is worth every penny. The back pieces on this closet were probably 250, 300 bucks to have this, have this completed. Uh, but then you don't see any of the structure of the closet. This looks like a cabinet. Looks like it, meant, it was meant to be here. We do Hefala, uh, we do all the Hefala organization options, like we can do um, all different types of stuff, like for instance, the Hefala um, sock drawer um, or the Hefala laundry basket that can come out and go with you. Um, we did, uh, these are top knob handles that we can source for you. Uh, Hefala hanging, we did it all in black to match. All the, all the light switches in this house and all the door handle hardware and faucets and everything's black. So we did the black matching stuff from Hefala. And you'll notice we did long hang, which is an optional 14 inch depth. So if you have really narrow closets, you could. In this case, we, uh, we, we decided to do the 18, which is the standard depth of all the closets. So we would custom spec 14 inch deep. So not only is it finished, thicker, heavier, um, each one of these panels probably weighs about 75, 80 pounds. It's super, super solid. Even though it's still a laminated press board or a laminated particle board, it's, um, it's not flexible, it's not pliable, it's super, super sturdy, super stout, especially when we plumbed it and mounted it to the wall. Uh, and then look at the drawer difference. So you have inch and an eighth faces. You have um, also laminated textured drawers, soft clothes as well as, so these are all Celeste drawer glides. They're under mount, like you would in a higher end kitchen setup. So much, much different than what we saw upstairs. Uh, that upstairs closet probably cost two times, if we would have done closet made in here, it would cost two times what I'm talking about here. Uh, and you get the option to sort of custom set this up however you'd like. Let's go look at the one downstairs. So here's another example of the same type of closet, only a little bit longer. This one, retail, um, if you were to buy something like this, this was $3,900. And again, you have, you have shipping on top of it, depending on where you're at. By the way, the closets are coming out of Miami. So, you know, if you live in Florida, so Georgia is a lot cheaper to ship to you than if you live in Seattle. But I think net-net, you know, it's still worth the expense. It's, you're going to still spend a lot less. So this one, we did a more typical shoe mounted area. 
This is a 24 inch wide where upstairs was an 18 inch wide. So we have a 24 inch wide hamper and then 18 inch wide drawers. This one we did the five drawer example instead of four drawer. So the top drawer is a little narrower, same thing. Solis under mount, soft close. We did the eight and eight and nine sixteenths, I believe, top knob, um, uh, knobs, uh, same payfula hang hang section. We did the, the double hang and fourteen inch, and then the um, the four, the eighteen inch center section. Same same setup at seven feet. Uh, so this closet here, you know, it's, it's another two feet. So this closet's probably about uh, about nine feet wide. A logical question would be, you know, can you do this yourself? You know, I have Mike, so I'm cheating a little bit. Uh, we, if you watch the install, go watch the install video of, of us doing it here. Uh, this is a little bit more uh, dicey because, you know, we, um, we oversized it. I wanted it to fit exactly. Uh, when we do it for you, there's no reason to do that. We had to cut some drywall here and cut some baseboards and do some modifications. If we size this right, usually you would size it two to four inches short of your closet because you can't see back there in the corner anyway. Um, then you could modularly set this up. And I think that, you know, as long as you know how to use a drill, uh, you watch our videos, we show you how to use shims, how to square it up. I mean, shoot, even if you didn't square it up, it's still the only thing that might be a little dicey is putting the, the, the drawer faces on. It's a really pretty simple install with, um, you, we used like maybe a half a dozen different tools, some drills and screwdrivers and things like that. It's a pretty, pretty basic like Lincoln log type setup to put together. And then I would argue this looks a whole lot more custom than what the closet upstairs look like. Let me show you the bunk room, which is, a, I think, a pretty unique setup that uh, we put in place. So this was another part of the storage room here that we're going to turn this storage area into a four-person bunk room, which would generally probably be four kids. And so I came up with the idea this is the full height, eight foot version. Um, so you can see the, the sort of the presence of this setup. But I came up with this idea. Let's take our storage room where we have our server. Uh, we're gonna put a doorway here. This will be part of a greater bunk room where we have four different beds and uh, we'll have some nice carpeting in here and a TV and charging stations and some dimmable lights. So this is gonna turn into a real cozy kids room, if you will, or bunk room. So when you come here to Destination OG, I came up with the concept. If we have four people to have four stations and then a linen shelf, uh, and so this is a pretty neat setup where we have four 24 inch stations. Each person will have a drawer. Each person will have a double hamper. So this is the 24 inch double hamper option. I have this at my house in Florida. I love it. So I put my lights and darks and these and I just grab this, take it with me and do the laundry. Um, and then I've got a chase hangers right now. My favorite hanger is a thick plastic um, hanger from Bed Bath & Beyond. I think they discontinued it. So to put this into perspective, uh, this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is a ten by eight, so eighty square feet of wall covered. Uh, this was uh, sixty-three hundred bucks is what this cost me to, to set this up. Again, that includes handles, accessories, the hampers, all the hayfula stuff. Uh, and then again, you would have you know shipping on top of that. So we we'll probably around somewhere around seven thousand bucks for a ten by eight foot section uh, of this freaking stout stuff, man. I, I mean, the only thing that I th I think could be better than this would be to do you know again have a cabinet maker, which you'd spend thirty grand just in this room here to have someone custom make you, maybe not thirty, twenty grand, you know, at least two and a half times to do. Yes, it would be nice if it was custom wood, um, but I'm telling you, this is, this, this to me, this closet system reminds me of the day that I discovered Swiss tracks. I'm like, you know what? It really is pretty freaking awesome to have the dirt disappear. It feels like you're walking on concrete, even though it's plastic. And if it's done right, it's actually a better product for the purpose. So same thing here. So here's a more typical option you'd have for, I guess, like a I, I think my our, our master closet's a bit bigger than this, but this would be a pretty typical master bedroom closet. And this is also this, uh, I forget what the finish we call this, but this is that fabric-like finish. Uh, this one has a few different options like the angled shoe shelf. 
uh, where we have the Hafala bridge here that holds your shoes in place. One disadvantage of this is you do get less shelves when they set it up at an angle like this, but it does look prettier. Um, this closet has also the jewelry drawer option on top, which is kind of neat. Uh, and then you have your, I guess your sock and underwear thingy. I don't know what you use this for, but I'm sure you'll find something for it. And then your double laundry. Uh, this one, we did two banks of drawers, like a his and hers drawers, kind of like we did at my house, uh, where we have the four tall drawers and then the five drawer option with hang above. Uh, but this would be a, a typical closet. This closet's about 7,300 bucks because uh, it's 10 feet long with the L shape. Um, this is what this cost me about 70, 7,300 bucks or something like that, you know, and then can you, know, you have the shipping on top of it. But this would be a, a typical example. Uh, there is some lighter finishes. Uh, because there's so much pine in this house, we decided to do the darker uh, closets, but there are lighter finishes that we can do as well. So the laundry room, I had this niche here and we have these amazing custom cabinets and I wanted to do some amazing custom cabinets. What I found is that cabinet makers don't want to come and do one setup. And if they do, they're going to quote you out some ridiculous some insane amount of, of cost. And so rather than doing some you know, really expensive mudroom type, you know, custom cabinetry, which cost me tens of thousands of dollars, this is 3,400 bucks. You know, so $3,400, I decided to do some tall areas so I can put my vacuum, um, put brooms and things like that in here. This center section I set up for our linens for the house and put a drawer down below for, I don't know what, but something. Uh, and so this same setup, same inch and an eighth, same material, super stout. One of the things that I thought was really cool is they had stickers for all of this. So when you get these products, everything's numbered. So it's numbered in order uh, and makes it sort of dummy proof, really, really simple to put together. And then you just you know, screw everything together, everything snaps together and then, and then uh, crimps in place with their cam locks. And one of the great things about it, all the numbers are labeled stickers. And I mean, the laminate is super stout that, you know, as you're picking off the stickers, uh, they first of all they do a good job of stickers that can actually come off. You don't scratch the surface because the laminate is super, super stout. So, I mean, I guess it's enough of my sales pitch here. I, when, it, when, the, when the truck showed up here in my dicey driveway and, you know, trying to figure out how to get this thing in here and then I'm the, guy that's you know has had some modicum of success in life and i'm carrying these giant heavy boards and i'm questioning why don't i just hire california closets to do this and then at the end of the project i realized you know this took us about three days to do this um to do all six closets here in um in, in helen uh, I realized that this is the way to go, man. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth the, the struggle of carrying the stuff and doing it yourself for it. In most of your cases, just hire a handyman to put it together for you. There are some unique things about this house. So I had this giant gun vault. You know, if this was my own house, maybe I'd put some guns in it and get into that. But this is my vacation home. So to have a bunch of guns here, since we're going to be, you know, letting people stay here is probably not practical. And so this is where we watch movies. This is our you know, sort of family room, home theater. Uh, and so the concept was, I want to put a bunch of snacks in here. I got a little carried away with this. Um, this would house more snacks than I think you could possibly imagine. And one thing I didn't factor in is that snacks go bad. And so I was just going to fill this thing up. Well, <laughs> this, uh, this setup here is 14 feet long. And I decided to put all kinds of drawers and all kinds of storage for candy, crackers, cake, uh, chips, all of the above. Uh, this, as you can see, is a different finish. Uh, we have some lighting that we're going to put in here to make this look better. I know it's pretty dark. I got my ego light here. Uh, but this is what an example of a 36 inch drawer. So these are 36 inch wide. Uh, soft close, just like before. We did our handles. We show you how to do that in our install video. Again, I think this is something you can do yourself. You get Get yourself the template that I use. Um, this setup here is 60, 67, 15, I think $6,715, uh, even with all the drawers. Uh, and, um, and again, this was probably not my, one of my smartest ideas, but just to give you an idea, if you had like a craft room or, you know, I wouldn't put these in your garage. You know, I guess you could, if you don't have tools, like I wouldn't be loading these, these drawers up with tools or anything like that. Uh, but if you, 
I don't know, you're into photography and you had lots of stuff, you know, this, this is a really viable, really solid option for just organization in general. And we put a closet here in the back, um, all soft clothes, the inch and an eighth thick. Um, this is a, like a fabric like, uh, uh, finish all the, all the, the, um, the, all the drawers are lined, all of the, you know, all of the um, shelves are also finished on all four sides, just like normal. Even finished on the top, we did the back panels, this thing, super, super stout, super solid. So when the stuff showed up and I was wondering if it's something that I, I would um, continue to pursue, uh, I had such a great experience at my house, but it was a little dicey here because of how gnarly this driveway is. Uh, and then, you know, we, we did the install and then I just went through all the pricing with you. I think this is a no brainer, man. If you're going to do closets, hit us up. Um, I wouldn't be selling if I didn't think it was freaking awesome. It, it's the, they're the best closets I've ever seen. I've, I've toured many, many high end houses and, and viewed lots and lots of, of closet product. And I've always been disappointed and thought it was such a racket. Um, this is the first system that I believe in. I think is great doesn't exist you couldn't get it elsewhere you can't you can't get something like this so i had to freaking make it myself in order for me to be able to get it for me uh, i had to make it available to you and so it's kind of a win-win for both of us so i hope that you'll hit us up uh, go to obsessgarage.com go to the destination og section and um, and then hit up um, there will be links for how to contact our design services but you can get a rough idea of what this stuff costs by looking at some of the modules and then you can basically just create a summation of the modules and then add on a decent amount for shipping. Uh, I've assumed you aren't idiots, so we just quote the shipping at whatever it costs. I don't mark the shipping up, so, but be prepared for a decent amount. But I think net-net, um, the result you're gonna get if you're willing to put in the effort is worth the time. It's a lot of fun to do. If you're anything like me, I would much prefer to do it myself rather than to, um, to, to be taken out of the process. So this is a way for you to take, take, take that back, take that process back and get yourself a great result. So hit us up. Uh, if you have questions, you can always hit me up, matt at obsessedgarage.com. We'd love to help you get closets for your house. Thanks for watching.